Number 99, which of the following molecules have dipole moments? And then we have PCL3, where they give us a little hint. P, phosphorus, is the central atom. Thank you. Okay, so does PCL3 have a dipole moment? Well, what is a dipole moment? A dipole moment is a fancy way for saying that whatever molecule you're talking about is polar. So only polar molecules have dipole moments. You could think of it as dipole goes with polar. So if you're non-polar, you do not have a dipole moment. Now, a dipole moment for polar molecules means that there's an unequal uh, distribution of electrons in the whole entire molecule. In this case, it would be PCL3. So this can kind of be visualized when you have, uh, you know, tug of war. Of course, you have like a big team. And when I think of tug of war, now I think of Squid Games. Has anybody watched Squid Games? Great show. And please, if, you, if you're interested in watching Squid Games, uh, please do not watch the dubbed version. <laughs> Just watch the subtitle one. I mean, it's so good, you know, to, to see it from, a, you know, a Korean language a standpoint. But anyway, so for tug of war, right, with a polar molecule, uh, the, the tugging is not so even. In which case, one of them completely tugs and pulls the rope onto one side. And clearly, one side is winning and the other side is losing. That's a dipole moment, where one side of the molecule is clearly pulling the electrons away. Um, but that's like my little representation. <laughs> but now we just have to figure out, well, is there that certain pull in PCL3? Well... In order to figure this out, I would take a few seconds and draw the Lewis structure. Lewis structures are going to give you a lot of information. You can get dipole moments, bond polarity, molecular geometry, hybridization, uh, molecular polarity. Um, so just take, the, take a couple of seconds and draw the Lewis structure. Now there's so many different uh, videos on this channel just designated to drawing Lewis structures. We go step by step there. Uh, I'm with you 100% of the way. So if you do need a little bit more guidance, you could always check out those videos. This one will kind of be a quick inversion. And maybe, if you want, pause the video and see if you can draw a PCL3 and then see if your answer matches mine. So for PCL3, we do need phosphorus as the center. They told us that. And we have the three chlorines. For a Lewis structure, since we're not dealing with molecular geometry, nobody cares. So it doesn't really matter how you draw the, the three chlorines. I'm going to draw them like this. Okay. Now, chlorines need a single bond. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> need a single bond. And then to make them work, they need those six dots around it. Okay. And then to make phosphorus have the octet rule, phosphorus has six electrons at the moment, so it needs one lone pair. And there is my Lewis structure for PCL3. Okay, now we look at this and say, well, snap. <laughs> symmetrical, nonpolar, asymmetrical polar. Keep in mind that if we have a dipole moment, we are looking for something that is asymmetrical. Asymmetrical means polar. So we can kind of see it here, right? We have a chlorine that's pulling to the left, and then you have a chlorine that's pulling to the right, so they kind of cancel out. But if I have a chlorine pulling down, where's the chlorine that's pulling up, right? These sides are going to cancel out in the tug of war, but between the chlorine and the electrons, there's a fight here. One of them is going to win, and nothing is more electronegative than a pair of electrons. So in this case, since we have a chlorine down here, but a lone pair of electrons, mm -mm, there is some pull. So this is not the same, right? So what I'll say here is I'll give you a little extra trick. So first off, I'll say that, you know, the polars is the dipole moment. And also, just know that if you have a center atom, 
I don't care who it is, but if you have a center atom that has lone electrons, forget about it. That molecule is always going to be polar. A center atom with dots will never, ever, ever be nonpolar. So I don't even have to look at these guys. If I draw my Lewis structure and I automatically see lone electrons, that's the end of the game. We know that this is polar. Lone atoms. <laughs> lone electrons. So because of that, we know that this is a polar molecule. And since it is polar, it has a dipole moment. And the unequal sharing is going to come from those electrons. Nothing more electronegative than a pair of electrons. So the electrons are going to be pulling in their direction. And that is it. Oh my goodness, this, this is a lot of coloring. <laughs> but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Come on. Okay, there we go. So anyway, I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And go watch Squid Games. Big TV fan over here. So let me know what your favorite television show is. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on a quest to watch a lot of TV shows. I don't know. I just really, really love TV. Not necessarily movies. Mm, I, I like the, uh, the character development of what a TV show can bring. As opposed to trying to crunch everything in in like an hour and a half, two hour movie. So, but that's my take. Um, so yeah, thank you. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Keep studying hard. Okay. Bye-bye.